Hello, my name is Eric Elton, and I serve as the Director of Outreach here at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Burnsville, Minnesota. At Prince of Peace, we are called to connect with God, with one another, with people in need, and with our partners to provide a hub of hope and wholeness in the South Metro area. We do this through our mission outpost right here in Burnsville, as well as through local, national, and international partnerships. Mission Outpost is a ministry that reaches out to people in need in the South Metro area by providing food, clothing, household items, hygiene items, resources, and low-cost dental services. Located on the Prince of Peace campus, we have hundreds of volunteers to serve over 150 families each week. Our volunteers get their hands and hearts right in the middle of it all by sorting and distributing all the donations. We distribute about 13 to 15,000 pounds of food each week, as well as several hundred articles of clothing. We meet with each guest and they share things about life. If they are interested, we also pray with them. Guests may visit our community resource center where, there, where trained volunteers assist with job searches, affordable housing, emergency assistance, minsure, and many other real life needs. In this area, our hope is that we can play some part in moving our guests to a place of thriving and sustainability. The Mission Outpost Dental Clinic. It began in 2014 and provides low cost services to over 600 patients each year. Our uninsured or underinsured patients are all experiencing some form of mouth pain and our goal is to improve their overall health. As soon as their mouth pain eases, they become better family members, better community members, and more engaging at work. Services are provided by the area dental professionals who volunteer their time. We also have a community garden. We use the garden as a way to help produce food, not only for the families that grow it, but also as a way to give back to the community so they can provide food right back into our own food shelf. Internationally, we have three partnerships. Our first one is down in the Dominican Republic and it is called Dulos Discovery School. It is a Christian bilingual English immersion school. We have been partnered with Dulos since 2003. We send work teams to serve in, Dulo, in the Dulos community annually. Many that have gone on these trips end up sponsoring a student at the school. This sponsorship gives underprivileged kids a wonderful education and sets them up for success after they graduate, like attending college, just like students here in the United States. We also have a sister congregation in Ilambo, Tanzania. It is a very small, remote village in the Tanzania countryside. Through this partnership, we have sponsored four different congregations to get a new sanctuary for weekly worship and other community gatherings. We have provided several fresh water wells, special training for improved farming, solar electricity, and student sponsorships for a better education full of hope. We have also worked with the doctor in the community to give access to supplies that are helpful for the Alambo community. Since 2008, we have partnered with Feed My Starving Children by hosting an annual mobile pack event. In 2013, we began partnering with 20 or so congregations in our local community. Congregations that are Catholic, Baptist, Lutheran, non-denominational, Episcopalian, Presbyterian, Methodist. Through these events, thousands of volunteers have packed millions of life-saving meals that are sent to children and families in some of the most impoverished countries in the world. It has been an awesome thing to watch all our local congregations come together and work towards this common goal. God makes a difference through each of these ministries in several ways. First, the work makes a difference in the communities which we serve. The food, the scholarships, the clothing, all help the community that receives the items. But one of the more fascinating impacts has been witnessing what God does inside of us every time we serve. God touches each of us and we become different people. We will often look differently at the world and try to understand the world in a different way. Another important result of these experiences is the community that is built. Not only do we help the communities that we serve, whether it is a local or as far away as Tanzania, but it is also the community that we build within ourselves. Each of these experiences has a community aspect to it, where everyone that serves together gets a chance to know each other in a new and different way. In many cases, amazing relationships are formed. We pray for each other. We learn about our kids, our grandkids, and families. We're actively engaged in asking questions about how everyone is doing. These ministries have become far more than the families, individuals, and communities we serve. 
It is about God working in us as well. God meeting us where we are at. So you're invited to come join us. Come be the hands, the heart, and feet of Jesus. Please visit our website and contact me for more information about how you can get involved.